it in here. That's awesome. So you should be able to find a message at the bottom of your screen and jump in there. It's connecting. Oh, there we go. Hey. Hey, that was quick. That was. Yeah. Well, good deal. Well, um, I hope my music isn't too loud. I just realized I didn't turn it down. So if it starts to be annoying, I'll sneak away and turn it down. <laughs> I can hear you good. Okay, good deal. Well, um, everybody, this is Shelby Kaiser, and she is uh, fairly recent out of college and newly married in the past year. And so um, she is one of our, our, well, you are the youngest artist we have in the gallery. So that's, um, that's pretty neat. Let me turn this up. Oh, there we go. And so, um, so anyway, I am excited that you are um, with us and your, your colors and your artwork is just really happy. And it's just fun to have the energy that you have um, displayed in your work. So, um, so let's get started on your questions. And, uh, you know, I, I probably wore bright colors today. Yeah. <laughs> That's all these. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, and I want to ask you more about that just in a few minutes. Okay. Okay. So um, I am going to ask you this question and turn the music down because I cannot focus on everything. So, um, but your artwork's in the background, so everybody will get to see it. So my first question is, um, how did you become an artist? What did you do? Like, did you go to college and study art? What was your process of becoming a full-time artist? And I'm going to move out of the way. Okay. <laughs> um, well, I loved art when I was young, like five and six year old, like around like kindergarten, I guess. And the older I got, I wasn't the most like skillful drawer. So that kind of turned me off completely. And so I was really into like soccer and tennis. And I think it was like the end of my junior year of college, I was studying biology and I just realized I don't know what I want to do. And I was interested in interior design, but the school I was at, which was William Care, they didn't have that. So I took mm -hmm. some art classes. I took a drawing class and the way they taught drawing and art was, you know, based on like form and shape and color. It wasn't like based on like the skill of drawing. So um, I guess I just kind of went from there. I just kind of fell in love with it. Yeah, it kind of opened up a whole new world. With it. Yeah. Yeah, that's neat. That's really good to hear kind of a different story because some people say, oh, I was, you know, wanting to be an artist since I was little. And uh, for you, that was, it was more of a process and learning kind of where God was putting you. And that's, that's pretty neat. I like that. That's mm -hmm. really cool. Really neat. Okay. So our next question is, um, and I'm going to combine these and I've been doing that the last couple of days. Um, your primary medium and what your favorite imagery and subject matter is and how you paint, you know, with that medium. Yeah. Um, so I do the acrylics on canvas mostly, and I'll occasionally like layer with like uh, oil pastels or color pencil. And then on paper, I do like watercolor and then layer it again with um, the oil pastel and marker, just kind of whatever. And the imagery, I work in like series because I'm interested in like, you know, like the florals and then the landscape and then like completely abstract. So working in the series kind of helps me like group it together and work on like one certain thing rather than kind of jumping all over the place, which I sometimes do a little bit, but. I'm showing some close-ups of your stuff. So I wanted people to see on, I can't remember which one it is. I was rehanging some of these a little while ago and you can see the pencil marks, you can mm -hmm. see the metallic paint, and even that, um, that blue in there is metallic. You can really see it on that one right there. Yeah. One of the, I think it's that one. I was scribbling and it kind of looks like love and cursive. I think it's that one. You can kind of see. Oh, like it is, that. it is. Right? Yeah. Right there. Kind of yeah. Cool. I like that. That's good. <laughs> All right. So, um, Anyway, I, I really, you know, what, what my, oh gosh, the background. Um, what I really liked about yours when I, f I started following you on Instagram, I think, and um, I just really liked the energy, the flow, the impressionistic abstract kind of landscapes that you do because um, you're not, obviously not real tight and you do have some abstract, abstract pieces like this real big one behind me is fairly abstract. I mean, it's, 
It, I think it's it basically is. abstract. Okay, so I want to make sure I, I did that right. Um, but the other ones, like that one right there, is more of a floral arrangement, and, and it's companions up above that I was showing the close-up. So those are more mm -hmm. of like, I think you were in at, um, you were somewhere, you were doing some stuff, like a botanical garden or somewhere. Yes, they had these beautiful, they had these beautiful hanging orchids. So the orchids were hanging, they had like the roots were, they were like, I don't know, I guess like floating, they weren't in dirt or anything. So you could see like the roots coming down. And so those were inspired by, it was the botanical gardens in Atlanta. Okay, okay. I knew there was some place you had been and you were showing pictures and, and such, and it was pretty, it was pretty neat. I, li I liked the, um, the way how you translated that to the, to the canvas. So that was, that was neat, really, really neat. And there are some comments, but I'm going to get back to that at the very end, and we'll go through those comments and questions. So if anybody wants to ask a question, just go ahead and put it in there now, and I'll go back and I'll say the comments or the questions and stuff. Um, okay, let's see. Um, since you are newly married, how do you stay focused on getting your artwork done with family distractions and being a newlywed and setting up your home and, and that kind of thing? Um, I guess before I was married, I lived at home with my parents and my husband was in Starkville, so we didn't see each other very much. And so I painted like, I'm kind of like sporadic, like I'll paint a bunch for like a couple weeks and then the next week I like won't paint that much. And so, like, I guess being married, I'm more on, like, a schedule because when he gets home from work, I want to be with him. And I don't, I want, yeah. like, at 5 o'clock, I want to be done, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. It's good to keep that schedule, and it keeps you disciplined, and um, it, that'll help long mm -hmm. run with the husband and with artwork. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So tell me a little bit about the paper pieces that you have, um, you know, behind you because I know you've done some classes and these are a little different than the paper pieces I have. And I'll, I'll show those in just a minute, but tell us about, you've been doing a class or something like that. So tell us about that. Um, I've been doing some live paintings. I did them, I guess, last week and the week before, just kind of talking through how I think about color and composition. Here, I'll show y'all some close-ups. These are a little bit different than those. So they're a little bit, I guess, more realism. Like I'm trying to yeah. like, put some more shapes in there. Mm -hmm. And I've always been interested in patterns, so I'm trying to translate that and make it relate to the flowers. Right. So they're a little more, I guess, realistic than what I usually. Yeah, I think so too. Do. I'm gonna show, once you sit back down, I'm gonna show everybody else the paper pieces that I have because they are, um, let's see. So that's one of the paper pieces that I have of yours. And now that's mm -hmm. pretty big. It's big. That's like an 18 by 24 paper. And then we framed it. And I've got a companion like piece. Frame. Yeah, I've got a companion piece in the back <laughs> that we made for a mat board. We ran out of mats and now some of the um, companies aren't delivering. So we're kind of behind on that. And then these two are definitely abstract, but I think they're still um, botanically flora fauna kind of based. At least that's yeah. the kind of feel I get. And I thought those were real pretty. We floated those on the mat. And so they're just, I think there's just real airy and um, simple mm -hmm. framing. But the, the artwork is so much going on. You don't want to have your framing, you know, too busy. And that's why we like those nice clean lines on mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So anyway, so um, are you going to be doing another class? Yes, I'm going to try to do one a week. I'm kind of trying out different days just to see, because I'll, I'll kind of put polls on my story to ask, but everyone says something different. But yeah. I like doing it, like during this time, because I just feel like it gives me something to look forward to in a way to kind of put my art out there differently, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah. So do you feel like um, during this time that you've been sheltered in place, do you feel like you have been challenged or do you feel like you've been set free because you have more time, not being pulled and all these different schedules? How has that affected you? Um, I feel like it's been a challenge and I've been like more emotional about it than like I would have originally thought. Cause like at first it kind of felt like this weird like vacation, but then it's kind of started setting in like what this is and how scary it is. And I have a lot of anxiety and um, these paper pieces, these flowers are a lot different than the ones that I've made like a week ago. 
a week ago, they kind of looked more like these, and I can show y'all. But it's kind of challenged me to kind of be still and, like, I kind of shy away from, like, shapes and really, like, putting a mark down and meaning it. And so I think it's kind of helped me to just, like, slow down and kind of, like, work on something that's more challenging, I guess. Not just yeah. Kind of I'll show y'all these. They're, they're still the flowers, but they're, like, yeah. a little yeah. bit more. And I think I've made a lot of these, but... Let me see. Yeah. So these are a little more loose. Right. They definitely are. But they're so pretty, though. They really are. You know, people have really liked um, paper pieces, even though we're having to frame them. You know, we're mm -hmm. trying to... The paper pieces tend to be a little less expensive because they're not the expense of the canvas and such. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to, you know... Share, share with people that even framing them, they're going to be, they'll, they'll be affordable. And, you know, we don't have to find the most expensive frame to, to frame them. And, you know, you can go all out, but, you know, just having something like that, um, I think it's just really, it's neat to have a different element in your house. Because if you have all just canvases, um, I think that you, you tend to, um, it, it, you know, you want to have a mix of stuff, a mix of styles, a mix some frames, some unframed, some mm -hmm. paper pieces. And so I think that just the paper pieces have just been fun element to uh, be able to add to um, people's homes. It's been really neat. So, okay, so let's see. Um, my next question, are you ready for the next question? Oh, that's yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm almost so, done. I've made a lot the past few days. <laughs> but that's good. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to ask you one more question, then we'll go back and do everybody else's um, questions as well. So you kind of answered this question, so you can tell me if you want to add anything else to it. Um, why do you paint, and why not another career? You kind of answered that, I guess. Yeah, um, I don't know. I feel like how just everything lined up, like, in my life, like, you know, I've loved soccer for so many years, and, like, I had, like, a weird college experience. Like, I went to three colleges in three years. So I was constantly kind of moving. <laughs> and, like, mm -hmm. I feel like I needed something else to, like, really work hard at and something else to, like, love. And I feel like God just put this in my life and he's, like, helped it flourish. And, like, mm -hmm. it's, been, it's been awesome. And I really love yeah. painting. So. Well, I, I think it's neat when you said that you were majoring in biology mm -hmm. and then – your, I mean, your artwork is all botanically based. I mean, it's yeah. flora and fauna and that kind of thing. And there was somebody else I was um, talking to. Oh, Nicole D uh, Dykin. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I interviewed her a week or two ago. And she really, that's her passion. She likes the flora and fauna. And it's very different than what you do. But there's some similarities. And it's been really interesting to yeah. see the comparison and the compliments of each other so it's it's pretty neat mm -hmm. really neat. okay so uh, i'm gonna get to, I, oh, wanted, go I thought these would be fun to show these were my first paintings i ever made in school yeah so it's changed a lot but i thought it might be encouraging to show that i guess i've been painting like four years so these were like paintings like one and two so yeah. they're kind of different and we had to paint with oil too and I, I know that um, no, I know a lot of artists, um, I mean, there are some people who are oil paint. They want to do oil paint. And there are others who want to do acrylic and only acrylic. And it seems like the artists that use acrylic, the biggest thing that they love about it is the translucency of the acrylic, that you're able to put those layers on and how the other layers, other colors come through, mm -hmm. where it's not so much that way with oil paint. And um, that's what I like about, you know, especially like that one right there behind me. I mean, that's just, you can just see so many layers of color and uh, with the markings and stuff. And it's just really, um, it's really interesting. It looks really good. Really good. Okay. So I'm going to go through the questions that are on here. So give me a second. I'm going to go back to the beginning and let's see what I've got here. Um, let's see. Bear with me. All right. Here we go. Um, Let's see, Dink, uh, Dink and ZG, <laughs> love your style and all the coral. 
and uh, Mary Jo Jablonski. I'm so sorry my pronunciation. Said hi Shelby, so you might know her. Yes. Um, Sisters Antiques gave three hearts, <laughs> and um, the artist Katie says so much energy in your work. I think she may have asked. Uh, let's see, Dinkson. Uh, I cannot say Din Dinkin see I cannot say this right. Anyway, fabulous. Um, okay, Mary Jo said, "Who influenced your art? Your art style?" Um, Matisse, Bernard. Um, I really like Andrew Bucci. The Mississippi artist, yes. um, Cy Twombly, his work is like really scribbly, and I like the scribbles, so I like his. Yeah. And I would say Fairfield Porter, also. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. All right, let's see if there's another question. Oh, um, your work is so joyful. This is from the artist Katie, and I've been saying her name wrong the last few weeks, <laughs> so I apologize, Katie, on that. So, um, your work is so joyful. How do you decide on your palettes? Uh, I usually start with like a basic palette, <coughs> sorry, like um, complementary colors. So I'll kind of like start from there. And like the complementary color palettes are like yellow, purple, red, green, and blue, orange. So I kind of start with one of those and then it kind of goes from there. Or I also have some books or like I'll look at another famous artist's work and kind of pull colors from there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's neat. I just, I, I love your palette and it's just fun. I'm trying to get these off the screen and I can't get it like, all covering your face up. So I'm sorry. But anyway, I just, um, you know, I love your work and it's, it's always fun to see um, the energy you put into them. I think the last time I got new things from you, we met um, in Macon at mm -hmm. the, uh, the closed Fred's parking lot. And um, I had picked out some stuff to, for you to meet me with. And, I, and it was pouring down rain and we were, transferring it between the two vehicles and Katie's like well I've been kind of busy so here's some more stuff and I'm like how does she have all this energy <laughs> I think it helps to work really fast so I feel like you know like the paper ones they don't take as long as like a canvas so I'm able to kind of crank those out when I'm feeling inspired yeah, yeah. so do you <laughs> think that you when you're doing the paper pieces does that does that help you kind of since it's a little less expensive on the paper um, does that allow you to kind of process that so you might can translate it to a bigger piece on the canvas? Yeah, usually the canvas ones, I like to plan them out because I don't know the paper ones. If it doesn't work out, I know I can just throw it out or sometimes I rip them up or I'll paint over them or just completely abandon them. And so I feel like the pressure is kind of off on the paper ones. But I also feel like that's why I like them because they're more experimental, I guess. In the canvas, yeah. I like to like, I'll have something I'm looking at whenever I paint this. It's usually from one of the paper ones. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's neat. Well, I'm, I like I told Pat Gavin yesterday, I'm excited to see what everyone uh, is doing now that they're kind of, you know, you don't have a lot of choices of what your activities are. And um, mm -hmm. I, know, uh, I know people have been taking, you know, these online, you know, demonstrations like you've been doing. And I, I know Peyton Hutchison's been doing some kids classes on Fridays and I think that's neat. I just, by the time I get around to it, it's already over and I, I, I never, I hadn't seen it. So anyway, yeah. but, um, anyway, I just, um, I think, I think it's exciting to, um, see what the future holds for all of us. And that's what, that's how we have to look, you know, there might be a new normal, but the new normal might be really good. And so we need to um, cling to that. So anyway, we are so glad that you um, joined us for our lead. I know it was kind of, nervous and um is there anything else you want to share with everybody before we sign off um i don't think so thank you for having me yeah absolutely absolutely well y'all make sure if you're not following um shelby right now it's shelby lee designs and um she's got some great stuff that she posts and she's you know did, i think one morning you did a sunrise you were out painting early in the morning and it was, a, it was really neat. I like that. It was on maybe Insta Story or IGTV. I can't remember, but it was good. It was really good. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I'm so glad that you joined us and we had a nice little chat. And I'll have this saved on Live Stories for 24 hours. I'll save it. I'll record it this afternoon and load to YouTube by the end of the day. <laughs> I did it yesterday, so I'm going to do it today. Okay. Oh, and I'm also going to do, um, I'll post Shelby's. Um, studio tour this afternoon as well 
So y'all get to see that. So 